Okay, getting into the Microsoft land. I bet we'll talk about nothing but Google, given what we're going into. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna put. Does anyone even care about Windows Forms? Yeah, I just put it in. You know what? To be fair, because we cover everything else. Yes, Nokia is making Phone Seven phones. Okay, let's move on to the actual story now. <laughs> um, th well, this. Go ahead. I got a link way at the bottom that shows how desperate Apple's getting. We'll get, in, we'll get into that when we get into them. <laughs> Which link are we talking about? It's that It's the one he added at the bottom. Oh, okay. We'll, 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 we're going to get into Apple in a minute anyway, so but, we'll... But that says Google Microsoft IE Privacy. Is that an Apple story? Anyways, getting back to the Microsoft. Have y'all seen Microsoft? This is the Microsoft store. Microsoft, Google violates our users' privacy too. Oh, they're talking about, uh... Yeah, me, me and, um, Dart, me and, uh, was it, it was you and me this, this, right, that started talking about that, uh, last yeah. thing. Yeah. It, it, Google overriding, theoretically, settings within. It basically, they're trying to they're trying to ride the tails of the Safari hack and get some free press out of it. So, is this a legit? Is this legitimate, or is this just Microsoft? This is them trying to ride the tails because Google had an opt out thing for them that would completely disable all of this stuff. Anyways, you if you were on IE, you could go to Google and opt out and have it completely be disabled. So, rather this was happening on IE or not was irrelevant because every single IE user could opt out. Did this so, happen on Firefox? Uh, if they didn't opt out, probably. <laughs> Safari couldn't opt out because the opt out feature wouldn't work with Safari. That was the difference. Nice. Okay. And now Microsoft's up there saying, look, we were hacked too. Look at us, please. We're yeah, yeah please, please, you. please look at us. We're Microsoft. Where the where, 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 stocks have flatlined for the last ten years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and, and that's that's part of why. Um, have y'all seen their their um? Uh, you can only call it propaganda. The, Microsoft has started propaganda campaigns against Google. Uh, and oh, there was like the one they did against Linux a while ago. Uh, yeah. It, it, but. Oh, yeah, they're. I, I mean, both of these links are to yeah, yeah, um, the, like the YouTube video here, and it's. Oh, is that the one about uh, Google off or whatever the, the guy in the suit going for the interview? Yes, <laughs> and he's like, he's he's the Google man, and it's like, you mean you're going to be messing with this application while we're on while we're using it? Yes. And you will find these new and improvements, features, or streamlinings, or... <laughs> it's like they're using it to sell Word. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, if it was any company other than Microsoft that hasn't done this forever. <laughs> you, want to just, you want to just play it? <laughs> Banned anti-Microsoft. Oh, that one's bad. Unfortunately, it's an Apple ad, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> I get a Mac. That almost looked like an old power PC. It does, man. Uh, it's like the old. It does. It has that flavor. Uh, it's like but, an old power Mac. <laughs> but the Google guy one is worse. Yeah, 
It's, Which one is this? Which link are you talking? Oh, this is it. Okay. He's top of his game in search ads online. Now he's looking to moonlight for you in his downtown. Hello, hello, Guggen Apperson. I'm here for my 4.30. <laughs> it's 5.30. Well, you should be ready for me then. Sit down, Mr. Apperson. Please, my mom calls me that. So you have 12 years experience in ad sales. Why do you want to work for us? I've been developing cloud collaboration and productivity software, and I'd like you to implement that across your entire company. <laughs> Wait, you want us to be your lab rats? Pioneers. My employees live on Excel and PowerPoint. Does it work like those? Potentially. Does it have active spell check? Sometimes. Pivot charts? I'm not sure what that is. What if my employees need to make revisions while they're on the road? Don't worry about it. You ask so many questions. Can they do that? If they have internet, yeah. If they have internet. And you still think this is ready to roll out? How else are we going to know what features to keep and what to kill? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So you're going to change your software while we're using it? Absolutely. Wait, but I could come to work and the software could be different from the day before? Different, better, completely gone. Who knows what the future holds for Google Apps. Google killed off gears and waves They buried Buzz the same way If Google Apps meets its grave Your business is hard Don't trust the good lighting stranger Cause he's not on your side oh, and, and see this is, if it was any company other than Microsoft I mean it's, it's a valid point But I, I, I can list more things that Microsoft has done the same bullshit with So it's like, you know, oh, hi Pop, me Kettle, nice to meet you, you know <laughs> Uh, it, well, what else are we going to turn to? I mean, for now, shoot. Yeah. Well, we, that's a different story altogether, but it, it's, I mean, it, it... I mean, Linux is already dominating in places where it can, especially on the uh, server end of things, but... Uh, honestly, um... If it came down to it, there's a lot of things you could switch over to in the uh, uh, if, if if you came down to it. It isn't be, it isn't between Google Docs and Microsoft Office like Microsoft's trying to make it out to be. Um, and it, it, it's like yeah, but you seriously are putting your company into an app. I mean, you're relying on an advertising model to give you. Productivity outlet. Oh, no, this is just about Google Docs. You know, they're comparing Google Docs. They're saying, you don't want to use that Google Docs. Use Microsoft Office. Right. This, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying. Just in typical Microsoft fashion, a crappy way of saying it. Yeah. And, and the top. Go ahead. The top, I'm just saying that the top OS and server markets now is Red Hat. Yeah. And next, I think, is Scent followed by Ubuntu. Yeah. And let's face it, Microsoft used to be the top server market until just about... Until, until what, what, what killed them wasn't that they were proprietary, it was the way they licensed the shit. Their uh, licensing was not conducive... Basically, what let the internet boom was the way Linux was licensed. Uh, it, it was that licensing that allowed the infrastructure to just boom out like it needed to. I think the, um, uh, Microsoft was no longer uh, in the server business because of all the hacking shit that happened to their servers. Well, they survived it. I mean, with... Uh uh, oh, bullshit, Ben. I remember your story about the Chinese flags every oh, morning you God, came. Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> where is a market, where, where is a, uh, a good market share, um, uh, 
Uh, for server market? Yeah, I'm looking at one on June 16th. Uh, it still has Windows as the dominant force. And, and what, are you talking about server or... Uh, it says web server OS market share. Of the top 99 NASDAQ securities by name. Windows is larger than Linux and then FreeBSD and then Unknown is the other. I don't know. I mean, I just want to say we're... Because I didn't know Linux became the number one server. 2011 is the August. 2011 is the most one I have found. That's from W3 Tags. That's Microsoft at 36%. And Where's everything. that? At? That's on uh, Wikipedia. Oh, Wikipedia. So that's the newest one I can find that's updated enough. So. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to remember the site. I should know this off the top of my head, but I can never freaking remember them. Uh, Netcraft is probably a good top person to go to. Uh, let me see if I can find the link here. Because I don't have it. Okay, yeah, maybe in 2009. It's February 26, 2010. ZDNet still published. Windows still number one in server operating system. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, well, it depends what you're counting. If you're counting sales, uh, because Linux isn't a sold operating system. Market share for top servers. Yeah. This is IDC. So Windows is still a dominant player. The fourth quarter is still far. That said, Windows is still far and away the number one server in terms of units and a definite leader in terms of dollars off. Okay, well, yeah, because I, I, I mean, how do you sell right. with something no, that isn't? How do you, you know, do something like Linux? Like, <laughs> here's your ISO, please install. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here. Um, this one will probably help you. I'll just post it under the notes. Right here, bottom of the Microsoft stuff. Where, where are you at? It, right above the Apple stuff, bottom of the Microsoft stuff. Uh, the news. Yeah. This is a February this year. Oh, I see. Okay. This gives you an idea of where things are. Uh, mar market share top servers across oh, all of them. Oh, these are web hosting. Yes. This is, not, this is not total server. That's what I'm, yeah, web, the web is dominated by Apache. I mean, over, even, I've even seen Windows servers using Apache over IIS, but in total, in total servers, I mean, which also includes web servers, I think Windows is still. Well, and then that depends not, how you well, define that, servers, because there's, there's servers, servers, and servers. Like, well, look, you've got, like, Network, uh, your client, your, your client server, basically setups, which are in-house, which are which are not okay, in and and in-house that don't need to be web accessible, that are basically just the the like the the system in the in the cooled air conditioned cooled room. That's about a 50-50 split right now, which means Windows technically has dominance in that unique instance of servers. In terms of supercomputing application... Oh, no, supercomputers, Windows is not even on. It's yeah, yeah, no, it, they don't even exist because it's all custom-made systems using BSD or Linux. Yeah, mainframes, mainframes, is a t yeah, that's... Yeah, and, and then you have... Hospitals are... And, and, and then you have the two classes, the, the two other classes of servers, which is web servers and network array server uh, setups, in which case it's predominantly Linux with a little bit of BSD, but Microsoft does still have a presence there because certain things like ASP run better on a Microsoft server as opposed to, even though you can really only do this on, in certain instances of certain things that are largely technology developed yeah. by Microsoft, you need a Microsoft node in there. So it's got to be a win. Look how far Apache has gone. And if you scroll down, you should post that link in the, uh, in, in, in the uh, description so people can see this. I mean, from... Microsoft was making gains in 2007, and then it just 
fell off the cliff, if you look at that. Apache took off. It's, it's right there where, uh, it's this February 2012 web server survey. Yeah. Yeah, I know Citrix is all over the place. Jesus. Well, and, and honestly, if you look at this, there's a couple of things which um, stand a, a possibility. I mean, the, the Apache alternatives are starting to really uh, get some traction. They're not growing as fast because of the standards problems you have there, but it, it's, it's not a purely Apache world either. Cool, man. That's good to see. So Red Hat is number one, then? It, it, it guesstimated to be number one. It's hard to be sure. The, the guesstimated order is Red Hat. It keeps bouncing back between whether Ubuntu server or Scent is second. Well, Red Hat is no longer a free uh, OS. Right, and that's why Scent is usually in the number two, because Scent is a free recreation of Red Hat. It's just not, it, 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 it doesn't wow. have included support, but ironically, you can call Red Hat and get support for it. <laughs> oh yeah, because all you do is, oh hey, look, this Red Hat machine is having this issue. We'll just apply it over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, they, they, they said they'll support Scent. You don't even have to lie to them. No, don't you have to do that anymore? Uh-uh. <laughs> Because they, 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 they're t they'll take your money. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care. It's like <laughs> Ubuntu is a different matter. And then SUSE usually winds up being in there somewhere, too. This is funny. W3, W3 text. Usage of operating systems for websites. And, this, and it goes in this diagram. Okay, it says how to read the diagram. Unix is used by 63.6% .6 of all websites whose operating system we know. And then Windows is at 36.5%. I love how they put this little tagline. The following operating systems are used by less than 0.1% of the websites. Mac OS. <laughs> well, that's because uh, uh, Apple doesn't even have a server offering right that's, now. That's, it's a, that's, a, that's a shame. <laughs> the XServe project is dead. That, that, uh, iCloud is running on the uh, new Microsoft server technology. You mean Azure? Yeah. I... I I don't know on that. I wouldn't even pay attention. If it is, that's funny as hell. Th that is funny as hell. Hi, we're Apple and we need Microsoft. Oh, wait a minute. That's how you started. You needed Microsoft back when you made the Apple II. <laughs> uh, actually, Microsoft's being used in the iOS. I know. Shh, don't tell the fanboys. <laughs> don't tell the fanboys Microsoft makes Apple work. Don't tell them that. The Kool-Aid says Microsoft evil. That's the only way Microsoft can raise money other than suing Android. <laughs> well, th that, that is where Microsoft's business model would... Well, let this finish, though. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish, well, they have iCloud, Microsoft Exchange. Right. And, my, and Microsoft Hotmail. Mm -hmm. And, and Skype. Well, Skype is an independent application. But isn't it still yeah. Microsoft? Microsoft has bought it, but they haven't finished folding it into the Microsoftum yet. Yeah. So we're not sure how that's going to officially work out when that finally finishes happening. Because we're all screwed. If they're smart, they'll leave it like it is. If they're dumb, they'll try and Microsoftify it and make it favor Windows and not be cross-platform anymore, which would be dumb. <laughs> well, isn't, okay, isn't Sky... What is that? It's SkyDrive, right? Isn't that available on iOS? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Pull out your wife's iPhone. Go find uh, out. I think, I think OneNote is too, right? I heard yeah, something. OneNote one is, one is, yes. I got iPod Touch, so I, it's iCloud, Microsoft Exchange, Gmail, Yahoo, which is, which I think it, it was sold to Microsoft. No, no, no. Yahoo was not sold to Microsoft, but Yahoo is now using the Bing engine to run it. I've been using it for really? a while. Yeah, and, and basically Yahoo is splitting the ad revenue with Microsoft. No kidding. You know, Yahoo is my favorite... I, I, I don't know if search engine was the correct term, but it used to be like a browsing directory. 
You know, everything was nicely organized back in the day. Yeah. Well, uh, Yahoo, I mean, Yahoo's done this before. Google got its start running Yahoo. They were the algorithm behind Yahoo, and then they forked off and became Google. And AOL is just at, uh, recently at it. Isn't AOL going to die? Is that thing ever going to go away? Oh. Uh, it, well, they, they still have a number of services and things that make them money, but as an ISP and a search engine, they're kind of, uh, well, we're not going to stop doing this, but we're less than 0. 0.000, it's some yada yada. <laughs> Jeez, man. I mean, and Windows Live Hotmail and Bubble Me, which is dead. Yeah, thanks, this I'm, I'm one of those ones that I've now received three emails that says, uh, where is it? Did I delete them? Bubble Me is dead. Yeah, it's, uh, where the hell did I know? Uh, I deleted it. Forgive me. Uh, yeah, here, let me find a damn email. They're asking me, Apple is, is, is now begging me to, to just, you know, to go to their new, uh, Bullshit. <laughs> is, is that the official technical term? <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it. You know, I tried once and they wanted me to install Lion. They can go, they can go eat some massive shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like you and I have got to go off on that Thursday, the whole Lion thing, because I, I, it, we'll talk about, there's a situation where I've had to take a deeper look at Lion than I've than I had to when I just took a glancing review of it, and I realized, oh my god, not only did they fuck up Lion, but they basically have broken the ability for a power workflow. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm still <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, you you are very lucky. Unstoppered is a good OS. It, it really, um, it, it, was a good, it was a good move. It's I no Linux. But it, it was <laughs> yeah, here, your mobile me account ends soon. Move to iCloud today. <laughs> you can keep your email, contacts, and calendars up to date with iCloud. Plus, get photo stream back up and more free with iOS five, which I will never get, and OS ten Lion, which I'm, I mean that's on my that's my I have to develop it, the development copy and that's the end of it. It's probably gonna take me a while to get to the Lion. Just send them a uh, ASCII art. Yeah, look at this. Here. Get ready to move. iCloud requires iOS 5 and OS 10 Lion 10.72. Things you don't Apple, want. <laughs> Apple kiss on your sweet ass. <laughs> <laughs> and see, and that Apple right there, bit, that right there is where I think Apple is fucking up big time. Because like you're, you have to basically get locked into their platform, the latest version of their platform, to even use the solution. Mm -hmm. Which basically makes, it's like, if there's any piece of that you don't like, you screw the solution as a whole. It's, which is, I'm actually going to have to move everything that I have that is running to my .Mac emails and, and move them over to something else. Because I, I, I don't see, foresee me getting Ryan uh, for the fucking iCloud bullshit. <laughs> this is from the resident back user. Yeah, I know that. Have you noticed he's like progressively, you know, looking for his Mac alternative? He's, he's like, no, I love my old Mac, but I hate the new Mac, and they want me to get the new Mac. Like <laughs> you know, at least, at least when uh, Apple yeah. did this before, when they, which they called it iTools, and then, they, and then they had like the, what was it, the E-World or something like that? You know, you weren't mandated to do shit. Well, a bit, you do know, I mean, it, just like who the hell makes stuff for Tiger anymore, you do know at some point your Snow Leopard is going to become obsolete, right? I know, I know. <laughs> I, 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 look, I have just read, I, this, I just noticed this, I was not too long ago that I actually had this problem with Snow Leopard, that I was able to do so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, man, I can't. You know, this is uh, being becoming problematic. I mean, I'm just gonna. Uh, for me, that's fine. I don't need the little bullshit iCloud services anyway. Um, but it is a pain in the ass to move all of my accounts that are using mobile me emails and switch them over to a new email. Group. Are they IMAP so you can at least m migrate the data easy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
and, and I always actually store uh, important emails locally on my hard drives that get backed up anyway. So yeah, you can just load it up wherever you want. Exactly. It's just I gotta go to each damn organization and say my email's changing to this. You know, and that's a pain in the ass because sometimes I forget them. And, can you enable on your Mac thing, like you, you set up a, an auto forward this email's changed message thing where basically if people email you for 30 to 60 days, it will say, yeah, your email's been right. forwarded, but update your records, this is now their email address. Yeah, I'm starting initiating that now because I haven't technically until June to do this, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to start doing that but it is a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. you know, I, don't, I don't even use the local mail client anyway. It, it, it took forever, honestly, for uh, OS 10 to have a great mail app. But then again, <laughs> Windows mail also sucked as well. You know, you had to pay top dollar to get Outlook because I hated Outlook Express with a big piece of shit. You know how many people's machines I had to fix Outlook Express corrupted? Uh, uh, what was it? What was that extension? I forget the damn extension. Of the little, it was like yeah. one path with everything compressed in it. I have uh, some Outlook Express. Oh, my God. So, you know, I use, uh, I use, a, I use a Postbox uh, on my Windows you know, 10 for a long time. That's what makes that bing when you hit it in a Postbox, doesn't it? And well, now, you know, even though Apple didn't have one native, I mean, Thunderbird's been available for a while. Well, no, the has always been native on OS 10, but it sucked. It would lock up. It didn't have threading. It was just terrible. It was a terrible mail application. Oh, Thunderbird was? No, 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 no. No, like I was saying, I'm like, the, this, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. For Apple users, that's an experience. The default app's bad, so let me go get the good one. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I've run Thunderbird. I've run Thunderbird on some of my Windows machines. Um, but uh, basically, Postbox is what I run everywhere. And, uh, and, and that's, I, it's been a great application for, for quite a few years, but it, it replaced having to use the atrocious Mac mail um, that, that was there for years. But I never blamed Apple for that. I mean, Microsoft they could never deliver anything that came with its operating system without paying some high dollar stuff for Outlook. Uh, so I, it was to me, it was a wash. You know, I didn't expect uh, Outlook it. was a mess too. The Out Outlook is still a mess. Uh, you know what? That is, I have gotten more people on Thunderbird because they install uh, a newer version of Outlook and they get in a boxing match with it and they're like, what the fuck? And you just go, here, click, click. You just like, you, you direct them to the Thunderbird site and go, well, how much is this? That's free. Okay, I'll try it. And they're like, why the hell am I paying for Outlook to fight with it? Cling! <laughs> and the lion finally gets a decent a decent native uh, Mac mail application, but to me it's like, I'm not, it's too little, I can't do that. I mean, I, I'm not upgrading one. And I don't, quite honestly, I have no incentive either to go through all the headaches of doing it. And, and, it, and it's funny, it's the same thing that we've said through other shows. To me, it's it, it clearly shows how much computing people really do when they just go on Twitter and say, yeah, I'm, I'm reformatting my hard drive to put on a new operating system. It's just like, God, you must have nothing to lose. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, at least it was better than Internet Explorer for Mac. <laughs> or, 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 or for Linux. <laughs> I uh. just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, that, this is the, the, the conundrum I'm now in. No, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to get all of my money out of this mobile me. Uh, I'm going to use it the damn day it expires, you know. I'm going to try to set it up where I can push this all the way to June and get all of my money's worth out of it. I, I, my wife is on left. My wife's computer's on leopard for fun's sake. My, I've, got, I've got a couple power PCs that are still using Tiger. Uh, my Mac Pro's... Well, power are, PCs have to use Tiger. They can't upgrade, can yeah, they? Yeah, they can't use that. You can put leopard... I did get leopard on on my uh, but you couldn't put Leopard on all of them. A lot of them no. didn't even have the specs necessary to yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, really, uh, Tiger's so much funner to use. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Mac Mini, though, surprisingly, from 2006, which is not even a Core 2, it's just a Core Duo, 
I, I actually tried uh, installing uh, Snowleopard on it. Now, the Mac Mini doesn't have a lot of software other than my TV tuners. And my TV tuners uh, they said they were ready to go for Snowleopard, so that's why I tried it. And it runs like a hoss. I mean, it's still recording my wife's soap operas from time to time. So. Well, as long as she's got her soap operas. They're not Spanish soap operas, are they? It, it's, it's, it, it has transformed mostly now into my kids' entertainment for their movies, and <laughs> on, on demand stuff through uh, we're Amazon Prime customers, so they can get that and Netflix. Yeah, I, I know somebody who has the official philosophy that children are parasites. <laughs> <laughs> it, yes, they, they monopolize your stuff. They, they learn how to use the stuff quite rapidly. You know, my, my, I mean, my son, even my four-year-old knows how to navigate the damn Mac Nice. I mean, he, so he loves, his favorite movie right now is Green Lantern. He knows, he knows how to get the TV on, change the input TV to, to look at my Mac, fire up iTunes, and, and load the Green Lantern. Turn on my receiver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's amazing what what humans can learn how to do when they're no, motivated. <laughs> because my Mac Mini is only tied into the audio of my receiver. See, my receiver has different inputs on it, so he knows how to turn it to auxiliary, which is important for my Mac Mini, and it fires up. And what he likes to do, though, is turn that shit way loud. So oh, yeah. Like, like early in a Saturday morning and I'm in bed, I hear like this... <laughs> and then you walk in there and they just glare at you with these innocent little eyes oh did I wake you up <laughs> you know and he's just like he's still at that adorable age where you don't want to crush him yet and, and, and he just says okay dad 